Hey everyone, Laura here with Rags to Rugs and today we're talking about jute and the beautiful rugs that you can crochet with it. Now we use a six ply, six millimeter jute to crochet our rugs. We use a 16 millimeter or a Q size crochet hook. And we follow the same patterns that we teach on our YouTube channel for the rectangular, the round, and the oval rugs. The only difference is you're crocheting with jute instead of fabric. Now we do sell all the materials that you'll need to make your jute rug on our website. You may already have them, but if you don't, we'll have uh, everything's available for you to have one-stop shopping if you'd like. We sell the six millimeter, six ply jute in the 900 foot spools. We sell the crochet hooks in the Susan Bates plastic, as well as our beautiful handcrafted wooden crochet hooks. And we sell the very popular crochet sheet sheet. These have become very, very popular in, in, uh, within our customer base. We think you're gonna like it too. These are all available to you. However, if you decide to source your own jute, um, that is perfectly okay with us. Just make sure that you're getting a six ply, six millimeter jute, not a five ply, not a five millimeter, and certainly not a jute twine. There's a big difference in between jute twine and the jute that we use. And when you're ordering online, sometimes it gets to be a little bit confusing. So just watch for the six ply, six millimeter, and you'll be, you'll be good to go. Now, if you do order from us and you receive one, this is what it looks like, and you'll notice it's wrapped in plastic. Uh, we encourage you to leave that plastic wrap on. And you'll also notice that we always start our stools of jute with a little starter. Now this starter is important because we want you to crochet from the inside out of your spool of jute. So leave the plastic on and always use the starter. Now, what moral of this is 900 feet. That's a generous amount on each of our spools. It's enough to make three of our cute little charming uh, heart rugs. And by the way, we will have a pattern for this at the bottom of this video as well. We're gonna have a video coming up very, really soon on how to make these two. And they're really, really, really fun to make. It's also, one of these spools is enough to make two 24 by 36 inch oval rugs that look just like this. And it's enough to make a 30 by 54 oval rug that looks just like this. And guess what? This is the same exact rug that is in our sunroom our mud room, and it's been there for five years and it looks this good. Isn't that amazing? Very, very big, and that's what you'll be able to make with one 900 foot spool. If you would like to add a little bit of personality to your rug, this is a great opportunity because we also sell the Bonnie Craft Cord in many, many different colors. As of the date of this video, I think we have like 16 of them. So if you want to add, like in this picture, a band of color to add a little bit of personality, this is a great opportunity. This stuff works really well for it. Pictured is a, a black and a burgundy and navy blue, but we have lots of colors to choose from. So if this rug that you're gonna make is a gift for someone else, what a great way to coordinate with their decor or your own. Now, I get asked a lot about maintenance. Um, this rug that I've got that's been in my sunroom for, like I said, going on five years as of the date of the video, the only thing that I do is weekly, I take it outside and I give it a good shake. It's almost amazing to me how much dirt and pet dander and debris that settles into the fiber of the jute. And you don't know how much until you go to shake it out and it's like, oh my gosh, where did all that come from? So a good shaking once a week is a really good idea. About once a month, I use a product called Scotchgard. Um, I love it. I use this generously uh, throughout my house, not just on my rugs, but I also use it on my uh, upholstery. I use it on my window treatments. I use it on carpet high traffic areas. I use it in my car upholstery. This is an amazing product. Not only does it repel dirt and stains and water, but it also conditions the fiber. This stuff is crazy amazing, and your jute loves it. Now, I also lay, have laid in here a product called Febreze. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. When you receive your jute from us and you start working it, uh, it's just kind of the natural tendencies of jute. It has a very earthy uh, smell to it. Uh, the way it's harvested and at what time of the year it's harvested, it can have, a, you know, I, I would call it an earthy smell. I personally like that, but if it's something that you don't like, 
consider using Febreze it's, while you're working the rug or when it's newly finished. Spray it with this and I think you're going to find that it's just fine. And then that smell dissipates in a really short time uh, after you lay it on the, on the ground. So um, Febreze is a, is a really good product to use. Um, but beyond that, uh, the maintenance of the rug, um, don't, uh, we encourage you not to machine wash your rug um, or allow it to soak in water for a long time. You simply doesn't like that. But what you can do on a warm, breezy day is take it outside. Say if there's a, some dirt that's settled on it that doesn't shake away, but it's just right there on the surface of it, take your garden hose to it. And I think you'll be amazed how quickly it, it goes away. Allow your rug then to dry and once again, spray it with Scotch Guard, both top and bottom. Um, and then you'll be good to go for a very long period of time. Um, uh, Jute is just an amazing product. I think you're gonna enjoy working with it. Uh, we'll provide all the links below for this video. If there's any questions whatsoever, leave it in the comments field. I'm really good about responding to those uh, comments and those questions. And so on a daily basis, so leave those below, reach out to me, and I'll make certain that any questions you may have about jute and the beautiful rugs that it can, that we'll have those answered for you. And in the meantime, please do us a favor and uh, subscribe to our channel. It means more to you than you'll ever know. And in the meantime, as always, make it a great day.